Welcome to Geeky Things I Do. This is part two of the wing build for the cosplay wings. Um, we're gonna get right into it and start putting those motors that we saw at the end of the last video onto the metal armature. So if you haven't caught up, go check out part one of this crazy geek build. So that's where maybe where it could be placed. Or if you place it higher, and then this rotates down like that. So move that down. And now you'd have to that would have to rotate up. You always have to point like point it at the E. Okay, um, we did a like a little dry fit, uh, loose fit of all the pieces the other day, which you saw, and uh, we went shopping, dealt with some of the electronics, uh, but now we were going to kind of lock some things down and actually start putting together, and I think maybe we have some more problems. Uh, the <laughs> my brilliant idea how to connect the wings to the back plate may have blocked where we would put places for straps so now we have to figure that part out this was my brilliant idea how to attach the whole mechanism to this baseboard but now there's not a lot of room to put holes or little slots for straps for the shoulder straps down here is fine. This is where we're going to put straps for the waist. She measures, I cut. <laughs> so that's her fault if it's wrong. Okay. So I'm going to cut there and there. Putting those things on there so that we get lots of grip.
find us slowly going every single day and just adding one thing at a time, we're making progress. It's just that we have to problem solve and then go back to the store and buy longer screws or more different bolts. So we're making progress. The measure where the motor, the actuator is gonna push, where it's gonna start and then where it's gonna end. Because if not, we've got 250 pounds of pressure pushing on a spot where it's not supposed to go and we might rip the wings apart. Okay, now the next thing I have to do is work on the electronics. So the idea is to hook up the battery pack, um, these two actuator motors, both of them together all the way up to a rocker switch one way the other way and uh, my idea is to um, make it so that I can take it apart so I can disconnect the battery pack from the motors from the switch so that if we have to make changes along the way or even maybe months away like a new uh, change out the wings or something I can just disconnect the motors from the rest of the system instead of having to cut wires all the time so I'm using these uh, connection pieces, males and females, so we can connect everything together um, and disconnect. And I think that will all be safe and tidy also. I want it to be tidy um, so there's not wires everywhere. So I've never really sire, uh, soldered just a little bit, so um, we're going to be learning some. So if you see something that just doesn't look right, it probably isn't right, but I'm doing it anyway. So. Let's figure it out. Because it doesn't matter. Male connectors here. Male, male. That one, that one, and my other motor. So now I need a wire that will come up the arm and all the way to the switch. Okay, so I need to get two motors into one wire. So the idea is solder these together and then put those caps on the end. Okay, I'm about ready to throw these wires across the room. Um, I don't have my little helping hand pincers um, to hold the wires while I solder, so it's very frustrating. So I'm off to go grab Dominica and have her help me before I uh, tear my hair out.
hooking up all the wires. Alright, battery pack, two motors, rocker switch. Alright, both motors go up, both motors go down. Okay, well, let's get these on to the armature. Let's see if we can get them to work. Okay, it's um, pretty late um, and I have hooked up the wiring um, in the inside and I've just connected the first motor uh, to the wing and I just connected it up to the power and I'm going to test to see if it works and if it rips the wing in half because it's actually not perfect. Um, it's mounted where it can only be mounted and um, and hopefully the pressure of this doesn't actually bend the screws or anything so let's see if it works okay I have the switch and I have this crazy thing hooked up let's see what happens well it doesn't rip it does kind of want to go far. It actually works pretty damn well. Hooked up. Two motors. Battery switch. I don't know why. I'm gonna see if it's a power thing by swapping um, the connectors. I don't think it is. I think we have a slow motor. Okay, so I swapped the wires to see if that's what was slowing down one of the motors, like maybe it wasn't getting as much power. That's not the case. So one of the motors just doesn't lift as fast as the other. Um, I don't know if they all are just a little bit different or if it will eventually even out, but that's kind of a problem. The wings don't move up exact same time. So we can either go quickly buy another motor, which is what I think we should do, and just 
return the other one uh, and see what happens. I mean, I can always swap them out. Okay, Dominica has spent hours cutting out, out of black cloth, all the feathers that have to be um, stiffened with glue and then mounted on rods. And then we are gonna put those rods on the metal armature of the wing. So I'm out, gonna go out and help her do that and see how far she got. So Dominica is covering each piece of fabric with a thin layer of Mod Podge and then carefully sandwiching this rod in between the two layers, smoothing it out here. And then we're gonna let this thing dry so that this will be a stiff piece of cloth that we can then cut a feather shape out of. This is the plan of the wings. I'm gonna make you stick all these and all these here and cut them to make them look like feathers, which Dominica is about ready to do right now. And then we're gonna go and drill holes all along here and mount the wires that are coming down here. Fun. Okay, because we were sick and tired of drilling um, holes that weren't straight um, and having the bolts all twisted up, I bought a portable drill press for like 150 bucks. So that's going to all my projects in the future. But <laughs> we cut 16, 17 holes um, on one wing. We have to do another 17 holes and they're perfectly straight. So. There we go. Okay, for the, um, the back brace, like the backpack part, we used to have this uh, compressed fiber wood board which was fine, it's actually very light, but it just feels like it's gonna snap. And it worries me with all that, the wings attach here and all that, you know, jostling. And if somebody walked by the wing and just bumped it, it might, I thought, snap this board. So I had bought online this um, plastic board. Um, and it's about a quarter inch thick, super easy to cut through. So I'm just transferring the design of this onto here, uh, cutting holes and then the straps, uh, strap holes. So, and I'm gonna use the uh, drill press to get those holes in there, even though it's so easy to do it with a hand drill, might as well. So while I was drilling uh, in the, uh kill room, this is what Dominica was doing, arranging all of the feathers onto the metal armature. This is what I'm doing. I am bending these wires into loops so that we can attach them with bolts onto the metal armature. 
So this needs to be, the loops need to be loose enough so that they will swing on the bolt so that the feathers can fan out when need be. Rotate as they open and close. And you have them all strung together. And we're, they're all strung together, so when they fan out and down, it's so pretty good. So last night's experiment was, uh, how do we say, interesting. Not everything worked out exactly as planned. Um, a lot of the feathers were falling off. The strings weren't attached all correctly. So what we're doing now is getting all the bolts tightened, secured, making sure all the thread has threaded all the feathers correctly and um, cutting all of the feathers so that they all fold out nicely. So after her um, entire day and night of Dominica sewing all those real feathers onto the wings, we are pretty much done. And so uh, the only thing we have left to do is we're going to go out to a park and take some photos and show you what it looks like. And then we got to rush her over to the competition because that's going on right now. And she's got to get uh, judged and we'll see what happens. But pretty cool build. It took a while, but I think it was definitely worth it.
are in this box right here and we're on our way to the competition.